Welcome to lesson number 24, Helpful Tools for Application Packaging. While there are many tools available to help you with your packaging process, we will focus on some of the most popular in this video. So let's begin with Orca. Orca is a database editor that allows you to create and edit packages uh, as well as run modules. It also has a graphical interface for packet validation which highlights entries with problems or warnings. Although it might appear at first glance that you cannot edit or create transform files with Orca, this program also allows you to do so. You just open the MSI first and then you can open and even generate MSTs from the transformations menu. You can generate or edit full MSIs using Orca, but it lacks the user-friendly graphical user interface that Advanced Installer provides, as well as all the automation that Advanced Installer performs in the background. However, if you only want to take a brief glance at an MSI, Orca is a must-have utility because it is only a few megabytes in size and opens MSI packages quite quickly. Our next tool is SysTracer. And this is a utility program that takes system snapshots and compares them to see what has changed. Now, do you remember our lesson number 20 when we went through the advanced repackager and learned how applications, application capture works? SysTracer performs the same function, but it only displays the differences discovered between two snapshots. It does not save them somewhere, so you must manually search for them. It is, however, a lightweight and quick tool for determining what are the modifications a program makes to the system. So, for example, let's take a look at how we can tell where VLC settings are located. Now that our VLC media player is open, let's launch SysTracer and perform a capture. We're going to leave it to a complete full system capture. Now that we've completed our first capture, let's tweak some VLC settings here and then click OK and quit VLC. Now, let's go back to SysTracer and take another full system snapshot. Once we have our two captures in the list, you can see a compare button in the bottom right corner. And when we click it, we can see the variations between the two snapshots. We may also see our VLC media player settings if we navigate to the app data folder. Isn't that a cool tool? When it comes to application debugging, the next tool is perhaps the best available on the market. Process Monitor is a real-time monitoring tool for Windows that displays files, access registry entries, active processes, and so on. It also includes a long list of improvements such as process monitoring, including termination codes, monitoring of files loaded into system memory, enhanced filters, more active process details, and so on. Process Monitor is available for free to download on the Microsoft website. Once you download it, you can open it and we can see that it swiftly populates the list with a large amount of information. We could talk about Process Monitor all day, but I'll just show you a brief example on how to determine whether an EXE contains an MSI. So navigate to Filter and click Filter again, and then click OK. Select operation is process, create, under display entries, matching this condition, click add and restart the capture. So now if we try to install an EXE, now that the capture is running, you can see it indicates that an MSI exec process has begun. We can even get more information about the method in the right. Beyond Compare is an utility that compares files, directories, FTP site archives, and so on. The program's main goal is to assist in the detailed analysis of the discrepancies. It comes in handy when comparing scripts or folder structures throughout the packaging process. For example, if a capture is required for repackaging, a comparison between the original installation directory and the capture directory is recommended. Assume, for example, that this folder is the original installation folder and this is the recapture folder. When we right click and choose Compare with Beyond Compare, it opens up and displays the differences. 
we can change the rules here. For example, if we don't want timestamps to be taken into account and instead want a binary comparison. Furthermore, it looks that some of the files are missing. Then I'll have to go back and look at this capture later. PowerShell App Deployment Toolkit is the final tool I like to discuss. This is an open source project composed of a collection of methods that allow you to conduct basic application deployment operations and communicate with the users during the deployment. It's designed to make complex installation or uninstallation scripts easier to understand and increase the installation success rate. You can generate an installation bundle or execute extra system changes with a few simple lines of code. Remember how I said in a previous video that we'd have a look on it? I'm not going to go into that on how to download and install the tool and run it. I'm only going to demonstrate how simple it is to install 3MSI programs. We can see in the deploy application.ps1 script that we have here that there is a pre-installation, installation and post-installation phase. We merely type execute MSI minus action install and minus path and our path to the executables in our installation routine. This is something we do with all our packages. And that's it. If we execute the script now, all of the packages will be installed. Leave a remark in the description if you want more in-depth videos about PowerShell App Deployment Toolkit. And that is it for this video. In the next one, we will have a look over a script that helps you determine if you properly configured your vendor MSI in the transform file.